Hi guys, Ryu here with Narrative for Blender. Let's talk about something quite important. Modifier stack. So what's the order of modifier in, in Blender, right? I mean, it really depends, okay? You, you can't just say Solidify needs to be above Bevel or Boolean needs to be above Solidify because it, it, it depends, okay? So let, let, let's see. Let's grab a typical scene where we have, you know, some bevel, right? I'm going to be using hard ups, by the way, because it can't be asked with uh, with vanilla. So let's grab some cutters, right, going on here. So let's grab, uh, mm, let's go to box cutter and yeah, let's cut it with some, uh, with some stuff. And maybe let's apply a mirror to it as well. And maybe let's make it a little bit longer and cut something like here and you know, they should do. So let's talk about it, right? And let's apply weighted normals. So what we have going on in here, it's just, you know, just a few modifiers, right? Now watch, if I'm going to bring this bevel above, uh, above these cutters, right? There's no way they're going to get beveled. Because um, when you when you bevel something and then you cut in it, um, it's just gonna cut after the bevel, which means the new cuts they're not gonna be included in the in the bevel, right? So you need to keep bullions above the bevel, okay? Then uh, mirror, right? If you're gonna bring the mirror above uh, above the bullions, they're not gonna get mirrored because you need to bullion first, then mirror, right? Now, if you're gonna bring weighted normal above everything else, it's, it's gonna be a total disaster because uh, the shit is gonna be all off because the weighted normals right they need to be fixed after everything has been done right so this one needs to be last okay so this would be a order of uh, of modifiers for example in, in in this particular case now the most annoying part about vanilla is that you need to do it manually so every time i would cut this uh, manually my my boolean is going to get added at the bottom and I would need to move it to the top. Now in two, uh, 2.9, you can actually uh, drag and drop um, uh, drag and drop modifiers. Let me show you. So there you go. Now we're in 2.9 and you can see that you can actually drag and drop them, right? See? Which is pretty cool. But again, you know, you have to do it one by one, which is bloody irritating, okay? So I don't want to deal with this. So any, anytime I add boolean uh, in, in hard ops, right? Watch. It's gonna get added, um, you see, above mirror, above bevel, and above weighted normals every time. It doesn't matter what I do, okay? See what I mean? And that's why working with you know stuff like uh, a box cutter, or hard ups is so so bloody brilliant because you just don't have to deal with this shit. So now um, this is not many modifiers, but again, if you have like twenty five or thirty going on, you know, dealing with that stuff is just confusing. The same thing here, you know, it just clutters the uh, the workspace, right? So um, the the cool thing about hard ops is that for uh, dealing with modifiers, you got modifier scroll, so I can very easily select which modifier I want to move where with shift. You see, so if I want to move this mirror, right? To the top i can do it with ease you see what i mean it's just so easy to work with this right so i can uh, manage my scene very quickly uh, using this so now let's let's delete that let's grab another example okay let's grab a uh, let's grab a cylinder actually and let's add to it um, sub d okay so control control one or control two it doesn't matter now let's drop a bevel on it right now nothing happens because bevel is after the sub d if i drop it you know, on top, boom, magic happens because now bevel is actually right. If I show you, bevel is not actually holding this structure. You see, these lines here um, uh, on the top, right? They hold the structure. So when I apply bevel and sub D, you will understand that these bevels are holding all this mess going on, right? So that's uh, that's why the order of modifiers will be important. So now, if I'm going to cut this right, this mesh which has a bevel and sub D on it. Watch where sub D is going to jump if I'm going to cut it. Boom. Messed. And that's what's going to happen in vanilla. Now in hard ups what you can do is actually you can you can sort it out because you can switch it on. And hard ups will sort sub surface modifier for you. Boom. See what I mean? It's all civil. You don't have to deal with this thing. But then again, this is this is important, the order in here too, right? So if you're going to move, for example, sub D above the bevel, it's going to be a mess. 
right? If you move this uh, boolean um, a, a bit below sub D, you know, you're not going to get bevel and also you're not going to get sub D on it. So it really depends what you want. So you would need to run a secondary, you would need to run a secondary bevel on this one. So for example, what you could do is you could run a secondary bevel. So um, for example, click on control shift, right? And add another bevel. And then when I cut it right here, and I'm going to move this uh, boolean here, now I can control it with a secondary bevel. So you see, I got bevel here and I got bevel in here. See what I mean? You can't do it in Vanilla Blender either. It's just not going to happen. So you can actually work with sub D. If I'm going to apply all these bev uh, all these modifiers, so I'm going to go to uh, apply modifiers, right? And uh, not here, sorry. I go to smart apply. I'm going to apply top bevel, right? And the boolean, but not the last bevel. So now I'm going to be left with this bevel here, okay? See what I mean? So I can keep cutting in this mesh and I'm going to get this bevel, um, you know, activated. So I do have a sub mesh, but I can still keep cutting on it with booleans and I'm going to get the live bevel on it. So that's genius. The same with, again, with uh, weighted normals, doesn't matter what you do, you're going to get it sorted and it's going to be at the end of the stack. So again, in this case, bevel needs to be first and then the sub D, right? And depends where you want to put the boolean, depends on what you want to do. And the mirror, right? The mirror is the same. You know, if I wanted a mirror in here, right? So if I wanted to mirror it to the other side, it depends where I'm going to put it. You know, if, if my mirror is at the bottom, right? Um, it's going to mirror everything. So it's going to mirror the boolean, the bevel, everything. But if I'm going to put it, for example, before uh, one of these booleans, right? This is going to be gone. Um, so... If you, for example, um, use something like Solidify, right? I'm going to give you one more example, okay? This is very common. So you have a Solidify going on, right? And you want to Boolean this, right? Uh, so let's make it a little bit... Uh, not bevel. Let's make it a little bit uh, thicker, okay? Um, solidify. There we go. And I'm going to cut it a little bit with, uh, you know, with a bool. Now, the reason why you can see it in here, right? is because uh, boolean has been sorted to the to the end of the stack okay now this cut exists in, in in this fashion because we actually cut it after it's been solidified now if i'm gonna bring this boolean above you're gonna see it's cut through because we're cutting through the plane because if you turn off solidify all you have is a plane right so you boolean first and then you solidify it see what i mean or well, when you flip it right first you first you solidify and then you cut so the depth of the cut is going to be important, right? Then again, the same with mirrors, right? So um, it's going to be similar situations. If you're going to add mirror in here and flip it to the other side, it needs to be after uh, after the boolean, right? And so with weighted normals. In hardups, you can actually check which of these modifiers you want um, you want hardups to sort automatically so you can keep working without actually worrying about having to move modifiers all the time now if i grab two point my other blender 2.8 in which i don't have any add-ons except for mira power save and machine tools right and if i'm gonna start you know um, having fun in here so when i want to add bevel i need to do it manually right i need to add the bevel and you know all this auto smooth junk and stuff right and i need to change this to angle and set segments and change the change the clamping method and add weighted normals and now see problems start appearing because now when i want to for example right boolean this okay let's make it smaller let's make it in uh, move it in here and let's cut it right see what i mean my boolean is at the end and every time I create a boolean, I'm going to have to move the bloody thing to the top. So every time I create a cut, I have to move it. I have to remember about it. It's important to understand the order of modifiers, but having to do this every time is just bloody infuriating. So, I, I you know, it's it's just irritating. That's what it is. The same with mirrors. You know, if I wanted to add a mirror here, right? So I'm going to add a mirror. Uh, what is the damn thing? Um, here. And you see, mirror gets added at the at the very end. It's after the weighted normals, which is you know, in, on its own a bad idea. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to set it manually. Okay, to x axis, right? 
to flip it but you see it's at the end after the weighted normal so now i'm gonna have to move it above the weighted normals to make it work so it's another another op operation i have to perform if i'm going to copy this one right uh somewhere here and i'm gonna cut it right i need to do the same bloody thing i need to move it again right manually and i have to go to the stock and move it above here and then i have to move it above here and i have to uh, keep keep moving it up until it's actually in the uh above the bevel so you see what I mean? When I bring this thing to um, to hard ups, right? The same cube, okay? It's the same cube, right? Let's bring it in here. You know, I don't have to worry about it because uh, th things have been sorted for me. Where is it? There's a mirror going on in here. Here you go. See what I mean? See how fast it is? I just don't care. So when I hear people moaning about, you know, vanilla blender workflow being fine, I just feel like throwing them a bread roll or something. Because they just fucking lost. Anyway, guys, that's that's it from me. Um, hope you enjoyed the vid. So, you know, modifier stack is important and the order of modifier is important. Um, but you, you can't really have specific rules on it because it really depends on the situation. But usually you know we want to bevel above sub d to hold it if you're using bevel to hold sub d you want uh solidify before the booleans because uh, depending how you want to cut it of course right you want to mirror after booleans because you want to you want to mirror after something happened right the, the vanilla workflow actually is good for training and understanding how it works but once you understand how it works there is no point of suffering just move on and get hard ups so anyway guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Give us a like and sub if you did. If you want to buy Hard Ops and Box Cutter as a bundle, there's a link in the description. Go and get it. And the same with machine add-ons. I have links too. Hope at some point we can all work with add-ons and enjoy our life, uh, just like nature intended. Thanks for watching. Catch you next video.